All right, so Google Tag Manager is a way of installing um, uh, content, so tags that you might use for tracking um, Google Analytics, for example, into uh, a website. So we'll start by um, adding a new account. Uh, we're going to call this one White Dog Studios, and uh, we like to share data anonymously, so that's pretty good. WhiteDogStudios.com.au, and this is a web container, so it's used for a website rather than an iOS or an Android account. So we click on Accept, and we'll accept the terms and conditions. And once we're done, uh, we will need uh, this script. Now, if you're using the Google Tag Manager plugin for WordPress, you will only need this small bit of text uh, just up here. Um, and it will put in the rest of the, the, the situation for you. So you don't need to copy and paste the whole thing. Um, if you're gonna use something like Squarespace, uh, you'll actually need to copy the whole, um, uh, the, the whole uh, script there and, and paste it in into your code. And as it points out here, you've got to put that into your um, opening body tag as well. So we'll come back and we're gonna push that into our site in a second. Now usually the first thing you'll do with Tag Manager is add your analytics code to it. So what we'll do is um, get that set up. Um, down in the recent activity here, you can see all we've done is just created the container. We're gonna add a new tag, and there's a list of products we can use straight up. So we're just gonna click on analytics. We'll go universal analytics. And what it asks for is a tracking ID. Um, now that tracking ID was given to you in your analytics window. Um, it looks like this, it's the UA number. Uh, what we're going to do is take that and paste it in here. Uh, we want to tra track uh, um, things on page view, which is when I click a button, it reloads and the, the page changes and the URL up here changes. Um, that's most of the time you're going to use that as standard. Um, you can tweak some stuff in more settings, advanced settings, but that's beyond the scope of this. And we want it to fire on every single page of the website. Um, it's not something we need um, to fire every now and again, so all pages. And then what we do is create tag. We'll leave the name as Universal Analytics so we know what it is exactly. <clears throat> and what happens here is we've now got a tag, and there's the information. So I'm going to go back to the container, and you'll see I've now got a tag called Universal Analytics. Uh, it says this is the version I'm editing, and what I now want to do is um, actually publish it. So you see here it says container not published. So I'm going to click on publish. It tells me what changes um, are going to go live. I'm going to click publish now. And there we go, it's done. Now I'll show you in a second what that looks like uh, when we have a look at the website. All right, so what we've done is installed the code uh, on the website per the CMS instructions or, or did it... Uh, with inside of the um, uh, the code manually. And what we've done is installed this Google Tag Assistant um, widget inside of Chrome. It's really useful for lots and lots of things. So uh, Google Tag Manager, AdWords, AdWords conversions, um, DFP, double click for publishers. So if you've got advertising uh, on your site and so forth as well. So get that installed and you click enable. Um, and then if you reload the website you're looking at and just watch this little face here, you'll see that it's found two tags and it's found some suggestions. So the first one is we've got the Google Tag Manager installed now, so that's awesome. So that's a really good thing. And then if we go back, uh, we'll see that we've also got our Google Analytics property installed as well. Um, what it's doing um, is showing us that it's running on a page view and it's, uh, it's put a page view in there for us as well. So um, that's how you get uh, Google Tag Assistant installed. Um, using and, and then Google Analytics inside of it. Hope that was helpful.